Congressman Gilbert. It's a great honor to be here because I uh, always enjoy thanking you for the privilege and opportunity uh, of representing you, Roxanne, and I, in fact, have enjoyed this convention more than any other. I've never seen such cute children on the stage. And, uh, uh, and, and indeed, uh, uh, Michael and Anna Grace are our inspiration uh, for serving you. Uh, it, it is so fitting to be here today uh, at, the, uh, at the museum. History. Uh, actually, the second district created history. Uh, you need to be aware that uh, our new expanded uh, presence in Aiken County, all of Aiken County now is in the second district. That's where the Republican Party started. That is historic. In the 1950s, uh, we had uh, people move in for the bomb plant, the Savannah River plant, and they uh, asked where the Republican Party was, and people laughed and said, well, they're no longer here. Uh, well, they started the party in the 1950s. And of course, then it was Richland County that elected the very first a house member, and that was Charlie Boyno, August 1961, my second cousin. I was there. Uh, the Republic, the uh, Democrats were not very nice, actually. They looked at us like we were from a foreign planet. Uh, but uh, look what has happened since. And then, of course, uh, people of Lexington County should be grateful. It was Floyd Spence who switched parties in 1962. Um, he was the very first person to switch parties in South Carolina. It was brave. Uh, the only people who supported him, and Irby just reminded me, were Republican women. Uh, the guys just didn't have the courage to identify themselves to be with this bizarre new political party. So I'm, I'm just so grateful for that success. And then our friends of Orangeburg and Barnwell, you need to understand how important you are. And that is that in 1970, the uh, Democrats were beginning their victory party uh, for Congress because uh, the margin was so close. And they knew that uh, Orangeburg and Barnwell would come in strongly uh, for the Democratic nominee. Well, it did not. In fact, the Republicans broke perfectly even, a huge Republican victory. So we couldn't be here if it weren't for the five counties uh, who are of the second district. Uh, we need to stand firm for our principles of limited government, expanded freedom. That's why we now have, uh, amazingly enough, the second district was first, but now five out of six members of Congress are, Repu are conservative Republicans. Thank you. God bless you. We have someone else who's running for the second district, and I'd like to introduce to you Phil Black. Phil. In 2008, I stood before the state convention and said, Hey, folks, we're at the crossroads, but we took the wrong road. So, what I'm saying today is this country was started on the Bible. This is how we got our foundation. This is where we started. What can you commit the Constitution, okay? We have deviated so far from both of those. We don't even recognize those now in our country. So what can we do? We get back to the basics. I pledge to you, if I'm elected, I will only take a salary of $38,000. I will only stay four years. I will give you term limitations, okay? I will keep my health program, I will keep my retirement program, and I will have a sign in the office. Uh, there are 13,000 lobbyists. 15 of your largest corporations pay more in lobby lobbying fees than they do in taxes. There will be a sign, no lobbyists allowed in this office. I will talk to, I will talk to any corporation. Any member, any employee, I'm a business person. I retired from the SBA for 26 years. Everybody keeps saying, Phil, this is the third time you've run against Joe. Joe and I are friends. I like Joe. Why am I doing it? There are six reasons. Each picture is worth a thousand words. There's 6,000 reasons why I'm running grandchildren and your grandchildren. Children of this nation are lost in the woods. We need to get back to the basics. This, I promise, the first thing I would do, and I've been on two school boards, Lexington 1 and Barnwell 45, would be to eliminate or cut back drastically the Department of Education. Third, my I have a $5,000 budget. So you know I don't have a whole lot of money spent, but I want the precious, most precious thing you got. I'd like to have you vote on June 12th. Thank you. Thank you, Bill.